What is going on YouTube? 41 Deshaun here. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the iPod Touch 5th generation, the 2014 model. Now this is the model that does not have the rear-facing camera, but besides that, it's, it's exactly the same as the 2013 model. It just does not have the rear-facing camera, but it still does have the front-facing camera. Now before I do this unboxing, since it is an unboxing, let's go over some of the specs and let's read the packaging really fast. As you guys can see, it says included is the iPod Touch, earbuds, lightning cable, supports Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all features not available. This is the 16 gigabyte version, and then some more frying print if you want to go ahead and pause the video by yourself. But it comes with the iPod, the lightning cable, and the USB cable. But you already have a lightning cable, so I'm not going to be using this one. We're going to keep this one in the box, so just in case I decide to return it or sell it. I ended up paying $197 for this one for the 16 gigabyte, and I also bought a case, a clear case, so I could still see the color of it, so I could still see that nice blue color. And then I also brought screen protectors, which were uh, $5 as well. These both were $16, so altogether probably like $216. But let's go ahead and unbox it. It has a 4-inch retina display that we all know and love. Some of us love it, some of us hate it. Some of us say it's too warm, others say... It's just right. Some say that it's the perfect display. This cat will get out of here. Let's go ahead and we just peel this sticker off. All right. I don't think I did that right, but it is what it is. Peel that sticker off. Cat's just going to be in here all video. We'll go ahead and pull this flap down. And then I like on this iPod, it's the actual aluminum back. Oh. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Did I buy? Oh my god. I think I may have just got away. What? This is the 16 gigabyte. I thought these new versions don't have the back camera. What? <laughs> I am in complete, utter shock. This is insane. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I am so shocked that I like... Because I went to the Target store. And I did a price match for it. Because I know Walmart had these same iPods. That did not have the back facing camera. So I went to Target because they didn't have it in blue. So I went to Target, and I really do think that I just got this iPod. Because it's a 16 gigabyte version. I thought the 16 gigs were not supposed to have the back camera. Or, or it, I, I'm so confused right now. This is in, I am in utter, <laughs> oh my god. So it does have the back facing camera, which is the EyeSight 5 megapixel camera, the Wi-Fi cutout, the aluminum backing, the blue trim. As you guys can see, I got the nice blue. It's a really nice blue. I'm glad that I was able to find this clear case as well. This was a clear case from um, that I got from Walmart for five bucks. So I mean, I'm really gonna like that having the having to be able to see the blue and still protect it at the same time. But anyway, with my utter shock and complete utter just not even knowing what is going on right now here's four point inches retina display front facing camera let's go ahead and dig some more into the box and you guys already know i have a full review of this for you guys uh in the front it says ipod touch and then we have the cable lit up we have these which are the ear pods which i'm not even going to use these because i already have some ear pods that my mom uh, let me use from her iPod. So we're just going to put that back in there. And then we also have the lightning cable, which like I said, I'm not going to even open that up any, open that up either. We're going to keep all this stuff nice and neat in the box. Gonna keep all this stuff nice and neat in the box. There's probably some Apple stickers in here as well, but I have a ton of those. You can order those off eBay, offline, but we're just going to close all this stuff back up. And put that on top of it when we're done with it. But let's go ahead and get to the actual iPod. Something that I am going to be using. So in order to get this off, I have seen... Uh, I want to go ahead and let this focus. Okay. Now that it's focused... Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure you just like... I don't know if you peel the sticker off first. Let's go ahead and peel the sticker off. And then I think once when I peel the sticker off, that'll release this flap. 
that I can just pull back on and then, yep, it all comes off like this. So I can just pull this sticker off and still leave that perfectly on there. So I can go ahead and put this in here. Now, what I wish that they would have did, oh my, this is like super duper light. What I wish they would have did is kept it to where, um, to where you still have a black screen instead of a white screen. I mean, I'm really not a huge fan of the white. It looks nice, but I'm still really not a huge fan of it. But anyway, here it is, the nice blue aluminum backing. And on the front, you got the Apple logo, the touchscreen display. And here it is, booting up for the first time. It has the A5 dual-core processor in it. Here it is, compared next to the G3. Goodness gracious. <laughs> This thing could like fit inside of this. Oh my god, that's crazy. But here we are, we're going to be uh, greeted with the typical setup, the slide to unlock feature, and all that other stuff. And go ahead and slide, and then we're going to have to put in personal information, and all that other good stuff. But anyway, this was the unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.